Hello, this is Suchya Datta, SST teacher and now picking up the last chapter of Geography, Class 9, Population. Well, population of a country is regarded as a great potential for the country. Earlier, when everything had to be done manually, that was the time when population was considered very, very important. But now, with science and technology, of course, the strength of the population is not being considered in number, but in the ability of skills of a person. But imagine a world without population. Who would actually use the resources and what would happen to the world if there were no human beings? If people are so important, we definitely have to study about them. But before I start with the chapter, let's study and learn about few terms which are going to come again and again in the chapter. Census. This is one word which most of you must have heard. It is in fact official counting of the population after every 10 years. Demography. Demography is the scientific study of the characteristics of the population of the country. Average density of population. It is in fact number of persons living per square kilometer. If there are more people living in the per square kilometer, then we say that it is densely populated. If the people are less in that area, then it is considered as sparsely populated area. Birth rate. Birth rate is the number of births per year per thousand of population. Death rate is number of deaths in a year per thousand of a population. So when you know the birth rate and the death rate, you can easily find out the growth rate because growth rate is birth rate minus death rate. So this, these are the terms which you must know. Next term is sex ratio. It is the number of females per thousand males in a country is the sex ratio of that country. Infant mortality rate. Now, let's divide the word. Infant means the newborn. Mortality comes from the word mortal. That is how long. So, percentage of children dying in one year. That is the newborn ones is the infant mortality rate. Next is life expectancy. How long is a person expected to live? That is an average length of time wherein the human beings are actually supposed to live in a country owing to various factors is the life expectancy. Literacy rate. Literacy rate is the number of literate persons in a country per thousand population. Occupational structure. When you actually distribute the workforce in a country of the different population, that is the occupational structure. That is you divide the people into workers, teachers, lawyers. That's the occupational structure, the occupation that you have. That is what work you actually do. Migration. Migration is simple movement of people across different regions within the country and outside the country. Emigration. Moving out of the country is emigration. 
immigration is moving into another country so remember these three migration emigration and immigration migration is simple movement of people within and outside whereas emigration is moving out of the country and immigration is moving into another country